And good morning. What a day it is going to be today. 100% chance of rain. It's raining now. Be careful. Storms in the forecast today. And right at time, it's going to stop a little bit and then come back around 3.30, just in time for everybody to get out there and drive home. Anyway, it's 58 degrees out there right now. Hope you're having a beautiful morning. JC? What are you supposed to call me? JC. <laughs> Your honor. Dream on. <laughs> hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on this Tuesday, rainy Tuesday. She said 100% yes. You may have noticed by now this behind me here, behind Gloria and Tom over there too. Yes, it is official. It is no joke. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. I did qualify 3 o'clock Friday afternoon to run as a Republican for the probate judge, that's the uh, front page of the News Courier. We'll talk about that from Sunday. Uh, we'll talk about our friend Stan McDonald dropping out late Thursday afternoon and opening the door for a third wheel in there. So we'll see how it goes. Tom, how are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Uh, hanging in there. So you up, <laughs> you up to snuff, ready to go? Let me put a big sign up in front of your business. <laughs> well, not in front of my business. Uh, we'll, we'll have to watch that. Yeah, we'll see what we got. We got a lot of stuff going on. Frank's in here. Tony's on the phone. Two three zero four nine eight eight. We got a learning experience over the next two months. So y'all bear with us as we kind of see fill out the political waters here. It's our first and probably last run at something, so hey, let's give it a shot. We'll add it to the old bucket list. So that's what's uh, happening. Yes, it is official. We are running for, well, I am, Gloria's campaign manager. I don't know how this is going to go or not. I've got an LSU fan on my staff. Donnie Huddleston is a treasurer, <laughs> so we'll have to see how that goes. But anyway, thank y'all for getting up with us. Ronnie Marks, mayor, will be here in just a little bit. We've got exclusive video from the Martin Luther King Jr. March yesterday around the square. Man, I tell you what, it was windy and cold at 9 o'clock yesterday morning. Then we had a great time out at Sweet Home Missionary Church around 11 o'clock. Boy, they did a super job out there, too, entertaining folks. We got video of that coming up. We hope to try to get to all that today. Pilot Club from Decatur's in here, too. Their annual big bean dinner coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that also. Let's get it cranking, believe it or not. It's true, and I'll tell you of all the great Limestone County folks that already called me and asked me that age-old question, is this a joke? But anyway, let's get it cranking. Here's the weather forecast. Rain, rain, and more rain. Well, gee, I don't have to do the weather now. It's already over. <laughs> rain today for sure. Grab an umbrella on your way out. And then, you know, 58 degrees out there right now. Today we're going to see temperatures in the 60s. But don't let that fool you. A cool front is moving on in later this afternoon. High temperatures tomorrow around 46, low of 29, and plenty of sunshine. The rest of the forecast looking like... <laughs> is this a joke? Is, is, is this a joke? Is, is it really running? He's All as right. qualified as anyone. Here's the front page of the News Courier this Sunday. Cooper qualifies. Uh, let me read it to y'all in case y'all didn't see it. Uh, Jamie Cooper, local television personality. That's me. Uh, and owner of Athens Stations ETV is qualified to run for livestock County probate judge as a Republican. Of course, Jamie Cooper of Athens joins uh, Athens Municipal Judge Dallon Mansell and Attorney Charles Woodruff, also qualified as Republican. <laughs> probate Judge Stan McDonald, who's our friend and neighbor where we live here in Athens, was appointed to the office in May, but Governor Robert Bentley decided Thursday to drop out of the race, citing family issues. I've talked to Stan at length about this. Maybe we'll be able to get an interview with him this week. Stan did a great job in that position for almost a year he's been there but due to some uh, family reasons, he is uh, pulling out of the race. So, you know, it's an all-American dream to run for a political office. You did it once. I did. Over in Russellville, Franklin County. How'd that go for you? Not too good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never I, know. I, I caught, caught up in the uh, Carter. Carter's deal, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that in a little bit, too, about Obama's ratings, too. But, yeah, it's official. We are in, and the way I look at it, there's three people running, a judge, an attorney, and me. Unless there's somebody that gets up one magnificent write-in campaign, I ain't going to do no worse than third. <laughs> I mean... Well, I came in second. Good attitude. Yeah, well, Good attitude. That's the way it goes. But we're all three running as Republicans. We've got 50-something right. days to go. We won't do the traditional type advertising. Uh, to get our name out because we figure everybody already knows this. But the number one question, well, Sheriff Blakely called yesterday. I want to thank Mike for giving me a call. He says, are you serious? He said, because if you are, you got to hit the road running because your competitors are already been out and going. Yep. So, hey, 
Here you go. I got better hair than either one of them two do. Okay, so we know that <laughs> already. It's going to be fun. It's going to be serious. They're all good guys. But it's going to be a little, it's going to be probably the most unique campaign ever run in the state of Alabama. Mm -hmm. Probably anywhere. But you know the thing about it? And, it, that I started, and Frank didn't even know this. You and Frank knows everything, don't you, Frank? Nope. <laughs> Mike Davis did a super job down there. You do not have to be a judge nor an attorney lawyer to run for this position. That's right. I want a high school education. All you got to do is no probate, which I've got a year to learn. No. Then you know some. High okay. school education, actually, it's one of the few jobs in America you can actually apply for without having a college education, mm -hmm. which I do have a college education. Just so y'all know, I'm not. It's a junior college degree, even though I spent three or four years there. I figured that was almost as good as a four-year education. Jamie, huh? stop. I figured that would work just the same. Hey, let me mm. fill y'all in on a few other things, and I'll get back to talking about me in just a moment. <laughs> January 14th, 1952, NBC's Today Show premiere with Dave Galloway as host. You remember him, Frank? Mm. Dave Galloway as host, and they've been doing a great thing all this week on that. Today's birthday. Frank dated this woman about years ago. Betty White's 90 years old today, Frank. Mm -hmm. Wow. 90. Still looks good. Yeah, she does. And active, too. She's great. 90. James Earl Jones is 81 today. Hmm. James Earl Jones. And a couple of things. And, you know, on USA Today, when they do the uh, 50 states, well, here's what they say about Alabama. This is Mac, you might like this. The attorney for Harvey Updike Jr., the man accused of poisoning the tumor corner oak trees at Auburn University, is requesting the judge recuse himself. He's been asked to disclose whether family or friends are employed at Auburn. Updike, 63, has pleaded not guilty. Man, let it go, man. So accept your friggin' punishment. He was at the national championship getting autographs I and taking that. pictures. People having their picture made with that buffoon and everything else. Why would man. you want your picture Speaking made? Speaking of the championship game, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, Mark. I just Here's an editorial to... cartoon. It says right here, it's all about the kicking game. All about the kicking game. Yep, right there. That's all you need to know. <laughs> we kicked that old Bengal tiger as far as we could. I don't know if Matthew's going to start this at Chick-fil-A, but USA Today this morning says Burger King is testing Mac just in time for you. Home delivery. That's right. Really? The door-to-door -door Whopper oh. may soon be on the menu. Burger King, the number mm -hmm. two burger chain, has quietly begun testing delivery of its burgers, fries, and sandwiches from a uh, bigger area. Should home delivery catch on at Burger Giant, it has Pizza King pins already do it. It could be an industry changer. Now, there is a charge, $2.00 per delivery fee. Hmm. That's not bad, though. Uh, breakfast will not be delivery. Delivery times will be from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's not available in Athens, Alabama <laughs> yet. So just want sure y'all know that. Different. Oh, man. We also got a county commissioner uh, candidate coming up here later on this That's morning right. also. Warren Harris. Yes, folks. I know y'all were shocked when you saw this in the paper. <laughs> and uh, shocked, Not near as shocked as I am to say yes. <laughs> Stop it. Who would ever thunk Jamie Cooper would run for probate judge? <laughs> I know, Tom, you're saying, you, come on in. You must be wanting to get things going. So I'm a mover and a shaker. Well, gotta, yeah. gotta check your platform out, too. That's right. What platform? Oh, stop it. Yeah. My platform is, hey, y'all know me. I'm just like you. Let's get a guy in there like that. Hey, you think if everybody had the perfect family, you got to be like everybody else. No. You never everybody know. ain't got a good kid like you, Tom, sitting over there. I know it. Perfect. I'm, Wake up, man. I'm, I want to go to I'm a little blessed. video right now. We got so much to try to get in today. Yesterday, as I told you, Gore and I were down on the square along with several other folks. Rare Ronnie Marks will be with us later on this morning, too. Annual mm -hmm. Martin Luther King Jr. march around the courthouse square. Then we made our way over to Sweet Home Missionary Church. We'll start out with the prayer downtown and we'll show a little of this. We'll try to air the remainder of this week. Dan Williams, state representative, there was also along with Stanley Menefee, county chairman. We'll be back in just a moment. Y'all hang on. <laughs>